In the heart of the Californian desert, there exists an off-the-grid community that defies norms and embodies freedom. Welcome to Slab City, the last free place in America. Imagine a place, an unconventional paradise, where the grip of societal norms loosens and the essence of freedom thrives. Where the sun-kissed Californian desert unfurls its expanse and amidst the bareness emerges a community living off the grid, a place they affectionately call Slab City. Nestled in the southeastern corner of California, Slab City, or the Slabs as it's colloquially known, is a canvas of stark contrasts. The arid desert landscape is punctuated by vibrant expressions of creativity. The remnants of an abandoned World War II marine base have given birth to this unique, lawless settlement that doesn't just exist, but thrives in its solitude. It bears the nickname, the last free place in America, and it's not hard to see why. Here, the concept of rent or mortgage is alien. The residents, or slabbers, live on their own terms, crafting homes from trailers, tents, and other makeshift structures. They live off the land, harnessing solar power and sourcing water from nearby canals. There's no government, no taxes, no law enforcement. Freedom, in its rawest form, is the only law that governs this land. But don't mistake this freedom for anarchy. There's a sense of community here, a shared understanding among the slabbers that binds them together. They've chosen this life, this freedom, and they protect it fiercely. Slab City is more than just a place. It's a symbol, a testament to the human spirit's resilience and adaptability. It's a reminder that even in the most desolate corners of the world, community, creativity, and freedom can flourish. This desert utopia, this unconventional paradise, is indeed a world within a world. A world that exists outside the boundaries of conventional society, yet thrives with a vibrant life of its own. A place of refuge, creativity, and freedom, Slab City is truly a world of its own. But how did this anarchic paradise come to be? The history of Slab City is as unique as the city itself. Slab City's history is steeped in times of war and times of peace, creating a patchwork of stories that have shaped its present identity. Its origins can be traced back to the Second World War, when it served as the site for the Marine Corps barracks camp Dunlap. In the midst of war, amidst the harsh desert conditions, this place was alive with military activity, a far cry from the tranquil refuge it is today. When the war ended, the barracks were dismantled, leaving behind only the concrete slabs that give Slab City its name. The military moved out, leaving behind a ghost town. But as the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. The deserted military base quickly attracted a different kind of settler, squatters seeking a place to live free from societal constraints. The early squatters were largely retirees, lured by the promise of a rent-free existence under the Californian sun. These pioneers of Slab City brought with them a spirit of independence and resilience that continues to define the community today. They transformed the bare slabs into homes, using whatever materials they could scavenge and their creativity to shape their living spaces. As word spread, Slab City began to attract a more diverse crowd. Artists, drifters, outcasts, and those simply seeking an alternative way of life began to make their way to this unlikely utopia. The city grew organically, with no formal planning or governance shaped by the hands and hearts of those who called it home. Over the decades, Slab City has evolved from a squatter community into a symbol of freedom and non-conformity. Its residents, known as Slabbers, live by their own rules, creating a society that is as diverse and dynamic as the city's history. From military base to squatter's paradise, Slab City has always been a place of transformation and resilience. So what is life really like in a place where the traditional rules and regulations of society don't apply? Slab City, often referred to as the last free place in America, offers a glimpse into such a life. In this unorthodox paradise, residents, or slabbers as they're affectionately known, live in a variety of homes. From elaborately decorated buses to makeshift shanties cobbled together from salvaged materials, the dwellings mirror the eclectic mix of inhabitants. Artists, loners, rebels, dreamers and nomads, each with their own unique story, make up the tapestry of this off-grid community. But life in Slab City isn't without its challenges. Here there are no utilities like running water or electricity. 
no government services, no trash pickup, no sewage system. Yet this doesn't deter the slabbers. They've ingeniously devised ways to adapt and live off the grid. Solar panels provide electricity. Water is hauled in from nearby towns. Composting toilets and makeshift showers handle sanitation needs. Residents burn, bury or haul their own trash. The slabbers also govern themselves. They've established a kind of rough-and-tumble democracy where disputes are settled among themselves, often through community meetings. The absence of formal law enforcement has given rise to a unique form of self-policing where residents look out for each other. Despite the hardships, many slabbers wouldn't trade their way of life for anything. They relish the freedom, the sense of community and the opportunity to live life on their own terms. They've turned what many would see as a harsh, inhospitable environment into a vibrant, self-sustaining community. In Slab City, there's a palpable sense of camaraderie, of shared resilience. Here, individuals have found a place where they belong, a place where they can be themselves without judgment or restriction. Life in Slab City is a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and thrive in even the most unconventional conditions. It's a place that challenges our conventional understanding of community and comfort, pushing us to rethink what's truly necessary for a fulfilling life. Beyond survival, Slab City is a hotbed of creativity and counterculture. At first glance, Slab City may seem like a desolate landscape, but beneath the surface there's an incredible array of cultural elements that make this place truly unique. A deep sense of community and unity binds the inhabitants creating a vibrant and dynamic cultural hub in the middle of the desert. Art installations, large and small, dot this unconventional canvas. From salvaged materials and found objects, residents craft stunning works of art, each piece telling a different story. The most iconic of these is Salvation Mountain, a colorful three-story hill covered in biblical quotes and religious symbolism, a testament to the power of faith and determination. But it's not just about static art. Slab City is also a stage for performance arts. Every year, the community comes together for music festivals, where residents and visitors alike share their talents. From rock and roll to blues, folk to country, the music at these festivals is as eclectic as the people who live here. Communal events are another cornerstone of Slab City culture. The weekly open mic night at the Range, an outdoor nightclub, is a perfect example. Here, Residents gather to share songs, stories, and laughter, fostering a sense of camaraderie that's palpable. It's not uncommon to see residents bartering goods and services, a throwback to a simpler time before the dominance of cash economies. This barter system, along with shared meals and group discussions, strengthens the bonds between residents, creating a tight-knit community that looks out for one another. And in a place where the conventional rules of society don't apply, personal expression is celebrated. From the way people dress to the way they decorate their homes, individuality is not just accepted, it's encouraged. In Slab City, culture is not something that's just consumed, it's actively created and lived by its residents. It's a place where freedom of expression, creativity and community spirit are not just ideals, but a way of life. Slab City is more than just a community, it's a vibrant and creative cultural hub. Living free of societal constraints comes with its own set of challenges. Slab City is not an exception to this rule. While it might be a haven for those seeking freedom from the traditional norms of society, the hardships are palpable, and they come in different forms. One of the most immediate challenges is the extreme weather. The summers in Slab City are scorching, with temperatures often soaring well above 100 degrees. On the other hand, winters can be bitterly cold, particularly harsh for those living without the insulation and central heating many of us take for granted. But the weather is just the tip of the iceberg. Slab City lacks many basic amenities that most of us consider essential. There is no running water, no sewage system, no garbage collection service. Residents must fend for themselves, finding innovative ways to meet these basic needs. Water is often hauled in from nearby towns, and improvised sanitation solutions are a common sight. And then there are the encounters with law enforcement. Slab City is technically on state-owned land, and while it's largely left to its own devices, the long arm of the law does reach in occasionally. 
Squabbles and disputes are resolved without a formal justice system, which can lead to its own set of difficulties. Life in Slab City is not for the faint-hearted. It requires resilience, resourcefulness, and a strong sense of community. Yet, despite these hardships, people choose to stay. They stay for the freedom, the camaraderie, the escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life. It's easy to get caught up in the romantic notion of a life unbound by societal norms. But it's essential to remember that this freedom comes with a price. The inhabitants of Slab City pay this price every day, facing each challenge with a spirit of determination and resilience. Despite the challenges, the residents of Slab City continue to choose freedom over comfort. They continue to carve out a life that is uniquely their own, a testament to the human spirit's endurance and adaptability. As we look to the horizon, the question remains, what does the future hold for Slab City? With its growing popularity, Slab City finds itself at an interesting crossroads. The steady increase in tourism, driven by the curiosity of outsiders, brings in much needed revenue, but it also threatens the very essence of what makes Slab City unique. This influx of visitors could potentially alter the dynamic of this off-the-grid community, changing it from a haven for those seeking an alternative way of life to a spectacle for tourist consumption. Government intervention, too, looms as a potential game-changer. Slab City, long seen as a lawless outpost, has managed to operate outside the usual parameters of societal norms. But with its growing visibility, there's a chance that local or even federal authorities may step in, enforcing building codes, health regulations and other laws that could dramatically reshape life in the slabs. The changing demographics of Slab City's residents is another factor to consider. Slab City has historically been a refuge for those living on society's fringes, the wanderers, the artists, the nonconformists. But as more and more people hear about this unconventional utopia, we're seeing a wider range of individuals being drawn to it. This shift could alter the social fabric of the community, leading to new dynamics and tensions. Yet, despite these uncertainties, one thing remains clear. The spirit of Slab City is unyielding. It's a place where freedom and self-expression reign supreme, where the constraints of mainstream society are cast aside. And it's this spirit that will guide Slab City into the future, regardless of what changes may come. The residents of Slab City are not ones to shy away from a challenge. They've built a community from the ground up in the most unlikely of places. They've shown resilience, creativity, and an unwavering commitment to their way of life. The future of Slab City hangs in the balance, but its spirit remains unbroken. So what can we learn from this unconventional desert community? Slab City, a place which might seem a desolate wasteland to the untrained eye, is, in fact, a symbol of something much greater. It encapsulates the very essence of human freedom, resilience, and creativity. It is an emblem of the undying spirit of independence that has driven humanity throughout history, and it's right here, nestled in the heart of the Californian desert. Slab City is more than just a collection of concrete slabs and makeshift homes. It's a testament to the idea that freedom is not just about the ability to do what you want, but also about the capacity to live on your own terms. It's about being able to build a life from the ground up with your own hands and to find beauty and joy in the simplicity of existence. In a world that seems increasingly dictated by rules, regulations and societal norms, Slab City stands as a beacon of rebellion. It's a reminder that there is a different way to live, a way that values individuality over conformity and creativity over convention. It's a place where one can truly be themselves without fear of judgment or ostracization. But Slab City is also a testament to human resilience. It shows us that even in the harshest of environments, the human spirit can not only survive, but thrive. The residents of Slab City have built a community out of nothing, and in doing so, they have shown us the remarkable power of human ingenuity and adaptability. Moreover, Slab City embodies the spirit of creativity, from the vibrant murals that adorn the slabs to the unique homes that dot the landscape, Slab City is a living canvas, a testament to the transformative power of art and imagination. Slab City, a testament to human resilience and the indomitable spirit of freedom, 
continues to stand as a beacon for those seeking a life less ordinary. As we journeyed through Slab City, we discovered a world that defies norms, embraces freedom, and celebrates the human spirit. We've explored its roots, an unconventional paradise sprung from a deserted military base, bursting into life as a haven for those seeking a different path. We've delved into the daily life within this unique landscape, where self-reliance and community spirit intertwine. We've witnessed its vibrant culture, a melting pot of creativity, where the art of survival and artistic expression coexist. We've looked at the challenges it faces from the harsh desert environment to the complexities of living off the grid. Yet in the face of these hardships, Slab City remains a beacon of hope for a future that sings of freedom and autonomy. As we contemplate its potential future, we see the resilience and determination that make Slab City a symbol of liberty, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Slab City, the last free place in America.